Yo, what it is, world? It's your boy, J News, and you are now tuned in to Not Rated Radio on Dash Radio's Dash Discover. And today, we have rising star from Long Beach. I'd like to introduce my guy, Elijah Banks. How you doing, boss man? Man, what's going on with it? Man, you know, chilling, chilling, you know. Yeah. First and foremost, I just want to say it's a pleasure to have you on the show, and I can't wait to chop it up with you. Yeah, man, it's a pleasure to be here, man. I appreciate you having me come through. Not a problem, not a problem. So how we get this started, Elijah, is giving all of our listeners and supporters a brief, brief summary on who Elijah Banks is from the start of your career to where you are now. Um, Elijah Banks, just a humble cat from West High Long Beach, you know, very versatile, mm. um, very creative, uh, make music for the women. <laughs> make, make music for the people to um not think too hard you know what i'm saying just yeah. enjoy enjoy the music as you as you you know as it vibrates with you i'm just a cool guy man i'm just chill i smoke too much weed to be too hype you know what i'm saying no i hear that i hear that and i like that i like that now he says he makes the music for the ladies you can tell by the voice he got that yeah i'm in the <laughs> building baby yeah you already know <laughs> okay um so talk a little bit about um the music side of things, you're signed to Big Boy. Uh, yes, talk about the story and get the uh, listeners and supporters the details on how that all came about. Oh, man. Uh, first and foremost, shout out to uh, Big Boy, you know the boss. Shout out to my management, Vintage Society. Um, it started a long time ago, bro. It was kind of like some seeds that were planted that we didn't even know were being planted. Mm -hmm. uh, my boy that I uh, I used to rap with, he got signed to Big. And he was okay. from Long Beach. He was from the East Side. And with that being you know, happening, we started having to travel and do things in other places. And I would always, you know, I was his right hand man. So I was always there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I would always make music with, with, with him. And one day big heard the music that we was making. And he was like, who is this? Mm. He was like, oh, that's he nasty. Well, I was he nasty at the time. Okay. He was like, you talking about the nigga that don't even talk? The, nigga, <laughs> you, the quiet nigga? Yeah. He was like, man, tell him I'm trying to, trying to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? And we sat down and we had a few conversations and then, he let me start like really sliding with the team and then we just built our own relationship and then he eventually signed me. Okay. Yeah. Now why the name switch? Uh it rebranding, growing up. Uh, Got you. It had it was something that was necessary, you know, because mm -hmm. as no matter how good the music is, right? With a name like E Nasty, are you gonna let your daughter or son, <laughs> 10 year old, 11 year old go see that concert? Respectfully. Nah. Exactly. Me neither will I. So I had to take that into uh consideration. Okay. And we changed the name and Elijah Banks. Oh my God. When I introduced myself, bro, it, it feels better. Yeah. It feels better. It, it sound better. It sound like, oh, okay. Then again, the building. Yeah. He, right. he nasty was sleazy. <laughs> you feel me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I dig it. I dig it. Okay. So talk a little bit about your upbringing uh, from Long Beach and stepping into the music game. How, how was that, you know, transition? Um, it was definitely a transition just because you know, coming from Long Beach, there's not a lot of people who make it out of Long Beach. I'm going to be honest with you. And especially from my side. I'm from the West Side. Okay. There's never been anybody to cross over into that uh, that mainstream music from the West Side. It's Snoop. It's Vince Staples. It's, it's, it's Nate Dogg. It's a lot of East Side, North Side. Mm -hmm. So starting being the only one to actually have, like, a, a good shot at this, it, it, it gave me the motivation to really get my mind right. Because with this music shit, it's going to beat your soul up, bro. I'm, I'm going to let you know right now. Yeah, I um, bet. It's going to beat your soul up. And I feel like God just kept preparing me for what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. So um, the transition was 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 tough, but I needed it so I could appreciate where we where we at now and where we headed. I like that. I like that. Because uh, a lot of people have stories and you know where they come from. And everybody's like, it's this and that. But it's always interesting to hear the artist say like, yo, Fuck what they talking about. I yeah. had to get out the mud. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Nah, like, <laughs> for real, out the mud. Shout out to my boy, Jay Mick, for real. Hey, okay. I dig that. Now, let's step a little bit forward into this interview. You have music out right now. What's the current single that you're promoting right now that you got the streets buzzing off of? I'm going to say Woman Crush Wednesday, but there's a lot of other records that people like. But that's the record that I believe in and I, I'm pushing. It got like a, a universal sound. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I got the TikTok challenge and everybody, you know, everybody liked the record. But... A lot of people like Treat It Right. A lot of people like Get High. A lot of people like Get Loose and Every Time as singles. So, I mean, I'm, I'm really finna just let the streets pick the next one. Okay. Now, do you have uh, videos out for that or? Nah, we actually working on, a, we're working on uh, all the videos right now. Shout out to Sean James. That's, he's actually going to be the one filming all of my videos. Okay. Where my, my album was put together like a story. 
So we're going to film the videos like a story. Got you. Individual videos to put out, but then uh -huh. we're gonna we're gonna add extra scenes with acting and shit to basically um, transition. Okay. To, to make it so a like whole, a little short movie. Yeah. For okay. Sure. Hell yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. All right. Now, um, with with you doing the music and everything like that, for a person that hasn't heard your sound, how would you describe that? Universal. 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 Okay. Uh, my album has something for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Get highs for the people that don't like to really listen to that hype music and really just kick back and smoke some weed and really chill. That's mm -hmm. for them. Treat it right. It's for the people who are into, you know, like the upbeat relationship songs, like, you know, how Blast is doing right mm -hmm. now and stuff like that. Runaways for the people. Like, bro, I'm telling you, every, my album got something for everybody. And the stuff that we're working on right now, crazy. 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 Can't wait I'm about to, to, hear to go that. to the I'm about to go to the studio with Twizzy Twitch right now and work on more music. Like we we're not stopping. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have an album out now or is it something in the process? No. Debut album out right now. Uh through Big Boy Music. Um, make sure y'all grab that. Mr. Banks with an X. It's it's flawless. Every song, not skippable. Ooh. Not skippable. I put my word on that. All right, I'm gonna check that out, boss. I believe you. I'm gonna check you out. Okay, now with you know making this project and making the singles, what is your creative process when it comes to making music? Um, my team actually hates my creative process. Why is that? I, I go into the studio and I, I tell myself every studio session I got to do three songs, but they don't be three complete songs. Uh -huh. It be verse here, hooks, you know what I'm saying, whatever. I, I so I usually go into the studio and I do my hooks, and then I take them home and I really just kind of sit with them, mm -hmm. and then um, the ones that I really feel like. Okay, this is some, this is it. This is some some shit. Yeah, we uh we go and fill in the verses and get the feature if we need a feature or whatever. Okay, now yeah. are you more of a writer or a freestyler? Writer, writer, writer. I like that. Right. I think you're the first artist that said that is actually a writer because everybody be like, I just you know punch in or I I do this and that and I'm that like, would be that guy right there. <laughs> yeah, he's he's the he's the freestylist and just uh, let the beat run. I'm gonna just punch in and that's how he create. You know, what I'm saying I'm. I'm the type that I gotta sit down and organize my thoughts. I got ADD, so oh, my okay. mind, my mind already be all over the place. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Like I said, a lot of people be saying they they write the music. I mean, I write the music with freestyle, but I actually like that you say you take your time, write it down, write yeah. out the thought process. Do you do that with your? Uh, Cause I know you're hands on with your music videos and stuff so like great. that. So, so is that the same process <clears throat> as well? Yeah. Um, I actually learned it from Tori watching him. Mm -hmm. I help edit my videos. Like I have something to do with the production or the finished product of my music video. Like Murder on Ave, I directed it, I wrote the treatment, I casted the people, and I sat with the um, with my boy Kiki's Vision. I sat with him for 12 hours, six mm -hmm. hours one day, six hours another, and literally made sure it was something that I wanted to put out. Mm. Like I'm very hands-on. So even with my whole album, and I feel like my engineers get a little irritated sometimes because the engineer wants to just, being their own vibe and mix it, how they sound, yeah. how it sounds. I like to be over niggas' shoulders, like, hey, why don't we change that? All right, turn that down. All right, play <laughs> that over. So it's like, I'm very hands-on. I dig that. I dig that. I like that. So do you um, do you uh, have a, a team, like a producers, or you get beats from other producers, or how does that work for you? Hmm, my beat email is full as hell right now. It's actually full. But as far as uh, I have six points. I love working with six points. He's uh -huh. he's out of Houston. Um, me and him got a crazy sound. Okay. I like working with uh K Riggs. That's my actual blood. Okay. That's my, that's my baby cousin. Um, I like working with Ko Beats. He his production is always on top. And uh, C Balling. C Balling. Yeah. Shout out Dave Vinci too. He gave me my hit record. I haven't been able to you know circle back and get another one in with him it's been a little difficult but yeah yeah uh he gave me my hit record so shout out to him hey shout out shout out to him now with the music that you got going on now who are your musical influences snoop uh ice cube okay uh you could throw tori in there a little i know it might be a little premature but i definitely listen to a lot of his his music and i feel like it influences my my sound um eric bellinger Mm, okay. That's his style, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, those are really my my musical influences that I really take notes from. Came from a different approach with, you know, what you doing the singing. You said Snoop, you know, you naming all these rappers and stuff. Do you take the uh that approach too when it comes to music? Like when it comes to you you rapping stuff, right? I s I I'm a rapper, but I sing. I, okay. I really I really sing now. Like every time, like it's crazy. I'll be in the studio and niggas be like, 
bro, instead of rap, singing that, why don't you rap it? I'm like, mm-hmm. I can't help it. I just want to sing it now. <laughs> you feel me? So um, I started out rapping though. Got so you. that's where the Snoop and the Ice Cube comes Got from. You. Cause I started out rapping. I just started singing like three years ago. And, it's and it worked. Taking off. And it worked. <laughs> that part. I was, doing, off. I was doing it the wrong way this whole time. You feel me? Oh no, you just had to get it right. That's mm-hmm. all. That's all that mean. All right. So with the music popping, you got the, you know, the album out, you got singles on the way. Uh, tell the people, the listeners out there, what are your next bu- business ventures that you have coming up in the future? Mm. We got a lot of business ventures that we we, we got going, but we're going to stick I'm going to keep it to the music. We're going to surprise okay. y'all with the other stuff, but um, we're working on a lot of music right now. That, I think that's the business venture. We're working on a lot of music. Okay. Working on a lot of music, a lot of different sounds. We're trying to um, we're trying to put together a, a, a army mm-hmm. of people who understand how music works and how it how it affects people. That way, we can ma- be masters of our crafts. Got you. you. know what I'm saying? Got I got you. I got a lot of other business ventures, but I don't like to speak on those prematurely. That's cool. And you know, it's a lot of hush hush. You just, you just have to wait and see, y'all. That's oh. what the man's saying. Uh, wait and see what he got in the bag. You uh, dig yeah, it? Man, it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, now um, with this whole uh, pandemic that we just went through, or still going through to this day, right? Um, have you has that stopped your motivation, or has that gave you motivation? Or talk a little bit about that. Um, no, nah, it actually gave us mo- more motivation. And every time people bring up the the pandemic, they ask, you know, like how to, as an artist, like how did it affect you? And I always tell the same story. I say it actually helped us out a lot because we were moving around a lot. We were, mm-hmm. Woman Crush ones that just dropped. We was doing a lot, but sometimes can we agree that you got to sit down and focus? Yes. Okay. So yes. the pandemic made us sit our ass down. It had to. But then it took away our way of making money. Mm-hmm. So my boy called me when he was in Atlanta. He was like, "Hey, I think I solved the problem or our problem." I was like, "What's up? What you got?" He was like, "I'm a uh, I'm a come back to LA and I'm gonna open up a studio." I was like, "Okay." Like you know, mm-hmm. I, I was like, oh, "Okay." Like I I believed in it. But I was just like, you know, let's see what's going on. He came back, he built that motherfucker from scratch and we had a place to record. He he had ways of making money. Mm-hmm. Like it was motivating, bro. And then all, we literally locked ourselves in the studio. I think I was in the studio like four days out the week. Damn. Like all the way to like five in the morning, you feel me? Yeah. So, like the 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 pandemic showed us how to get money other ways. And, and it, it taught us how to sit down and focus, bro. Yeah, I think that that is all the way correct because I and I feel like people just needed to, especially living in L.A., you especially. know what I'm saying? It moves so damn fast that it's just like, damn. But when the pandemic came, it actually gave people like different hustles. You, you know creative. what I'm saying? You exactly. Creative, exactly. Sure. <laughs> so I, I like that, man, because we don't know where it's going, but all we know is we going up, God damn it. And that's man. that part. Look, we reached the low, bro. This the, the way I look at it, my mom always told me. When you feel like you at your lowest, the only other direction your life can go is up. Mm-hmm. We had churches closed, schools closed, mm-hmm. government buildings. I've never seen that in my lifetime, ever. Right. So I feel like it's up from here, like you said, because mm. we didn't see the worst. Yeah, we have seen the worst. Now, we was talking a little bit before we hopped on the air that you have shows coming up. You want to talk about that? Oh, yeah. Uh, Shout out to Sneaks, by the way. Um. Shout out to Ellie. Shout out to DW Flame. I'm, I'm actually on DW Flame's tour, the Tri County tour. I'm only doing three dates on the tour because I got my own little schedule that I got to get back to. Mm-hmm. But, but, you know, we're going to pop out and do our shit, you know, represent for Long Beach. Okay. Now, where are you going to be stopping at? Uh, we got Riverside, we got Santa Ana, and then we got uh, Downey. And then I got to get out to Dallas and Vegas and Arizona. Okay. Yeah. Now, when uh, what are those dates for those shows? At the 16th, 17th, and 18th. So, All right. So make yeah. sure y'all pop out, man. Yeah. Stop playing. Yeah, make sure y'all pop out, man. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a vibe. It's definitely going to be a vibe. Now, um, stepping a little bit before, before we wrap this up. Now, talk about um, some achievements you want to reach with your music. Hmm. Plaques on the wall. Um, I want to change people's lives, the way they feel, the, the way they, they days go. Even if you could, you know, even if I could change the way a person's day is going, that yeah. means, you know what I'm saying? That's an accomplishment to me just by the, my music. Mm-hmm. Like, oh man, you got me through this. You got me through that. I remember that's the, that's, that's what I do it for. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like I, I, I love people, you know what I'm saying? Setting so, the vibe. Yeah. So it's like, as long as I'm touching people and I'm, I'm influencing people in the right way and, and, and I can feel that love. 
I feel like that's the real achievement for me. But we definitely want them plaques on the wall. Mm, okay. Yeah. And I and I want to sign my own artist. When it's all said and done for me, I want to find one artist and sign him. But he got to remind me of myself. He got to remind me of myself, not the way he look, not the way not the way he act, but the way he hustle. Hey, that part. You, feel me? you heard that? The way you hustle, man. It's not about how you look or trying to be cool. It's just what, what your grind is, goddammit. Yeah, we gonna and we gonna uh we gonna J. Cole it. You know what I'm saying? We gonna J. Cole the situation. We gonna change the whole rules of how they let niggas in the music industry and, mm -hmm. and the rules you gotta play. We not playing by their rules. Okay. You <laughs> I like that. You say we not playing, goddammit. We coming for the throne. Mm -hmm. I hear that. I hear that. Now taking a little break from the music side, what is your other passions. What do you like to do when you're not in the creative process and making music? I like the ball. I like to go bowling. Oh, bowling! I just said I like the ball. Yeah, no, okay. I like bowling. I can't, first of all, I can't hoop. I'm let, let, let's just get. <laughs> do not ever see me in the streets and be like, try, "Let's let's go." I, I suck at, at hooping. I like the ball. I go bowling. Um, this might be the first time on an interview I said this, but I I like to surf. I haven't surfed in a while because I haven't really had time. But got you. I, I used to like to surf. Um, I play tennis. Oh know, shit! I, I like. I don't know. I hop on YouTube and just find out random stuff. Like I really be on Google all the time. Just any questions I have, even if it's in a movie. Uh -huh. Like last night, I was watching a movie and the lady was carrying this thing on her head. The African lady. Yeah. And I was like, why do they carry it on their head instead of their hand? And I googled it. I, it may not even be a fact that I need to know, but right. I want to know. So it's like it's. I'm I just curious. Why? Why do they? Um. Damn. <laughs> Did I, was, I put you on a spot, my bad. Nah, nah, you good. <laughs> it, it's something about the 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 balance of the, the weight distribution with their backs. Okay. You feel Makes me? Makes sense. Yeah, yeah okay. I, I, it's, I gotta give you the exacts, but I just found out last night. You feel me? Yeah. Bro? Little stuff like that. No, I dig that. You said surf, play tennis. Now, I'm from Minnesota. So living out here, I always wanted to surf. But every time I be telling my people, like, man, I'm like, I think I want to surf. I'm like, what? Yeah, nah, surf. Yeah, people, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's a color thing. <laughs> it's a color thing. There's certain things that that you know people feel like we shouldn't be doing as as black men. You know what I'm saying? Right. They feel like we should pick up a basketball or um or a football before we pick up a tennis racket. You know right. what I'm saying? So or or golf club. Mm. But I mean, look at Tiger Woods. Look at Serena Williams. I'm look just, at greats, I'm, legends, icons. God damn it. That's another reason why I do pop music. Well, how I'm transitioning because mm -hmm. where I'm from. Long Beach, bro, is known for what? Gangster rap. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I want to show people that look like me. You you can make the other type of music too and, and still be just as successful and just as cool. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to play the gangster role all the time. You don't. You so. can just be yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Be yeah. your motherfucking self, man. Yeah. Now, what is uh, the one of the proudest moments that you had in the, in the music industry? That you were just like, damn, <laughs> this is dope. <laughs> selling out, selling out uh, one of the biggest clubs, which is like it holds like a thousand. Mm -hmm. Selling out one of the biggest clubs in my city to end my tour. Ooh, I literally, I literally went on the tour, went to Arizona. I went to like all these places, and I, I, I made the last date on my birthday mm -hmm. in Long Beach, and I sold that shit out. They said I outsold. I'm not going to tell you the art, other artists that came through. Okay, but they were way bigger than me, and I outsold them. The bar did like 15K that night. Sheesh. You feel me? So <laughs> that was a proud moment for me. Hell yeah. You feel Hell me? yeah, man. That's always a blessing. You know, the, when the hometown showing love. The hometown. Everybody you know, in the building. Came the, out. Man, you had the insanes. You had the different niggas that don't even like each other all in the same building fucking with each other because of me. That felt good. You feel me? Yeah. So Real nigga, man. I'm done. Real nigga. I can't. I, I applaud it, man. I applaud it. All right, man. Now. Uh, wrapping up on this interview, I got one last question for you, boss man, and I want you to uh, shed some light on an up-and-coming artist that's coming up in the game. I really don't know which way to go or how the game is really working. You've been in the game. Shed some light on like some pointers for him. All right, I got a couple pointers. Okay. Number one, know your craft. Know your craft down to like uh, my, my boy be trying to tell me all the time, you need to learn how to engineer yourself. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, so learn, learn the craft, learn the business, get you a good team that you mm -hmm. can trust that's actually going to put in the work with, with you mm -hmm. and put your blinders on because 
Um, you know, I have mental health issues, you know what I'm saying? But like okay. this music game will really, like I said, it'll beat your soul up, bro. Mm. You'll see a lot of shit that you would not think is fair. You'll see a lot of shit that will bother you, you know what I'm saying? Shit you gotta be cool with that you really don't wanna be cool with. Right. So it's like, just put your blinders on and just know yourself. Just know yourself. Know yourself, y'all. Yo, know yourself. Don't be out there trying to fake the funk because everybody can feel that energy. Yeah. Everybody can feel that energy. For sure. Well, Elijah Banks, man, my brother, man, it's a pleasure to have you on Not Radio Radio Dash Radio. But before you go, I wanted to bless you uh, oh, with man. this. What we got here? You know what I'm saying? This it's kind of heavy. It's kind of it's kind of heavy yeah, too. You already bro. know how I do it, boy. Hey, this ain't from the '99 cents, though. You yeah, that expensive paradise Ooh. jacket. You know what I'm saying? Let them people see it. Yikes! Yikes! Hold on. It's hard. This hard. <laughs> hey, gotta keep it away from that nigga. That nigga. <laughs> he goes. He goes. We try to sport that nigga, it. That nigga be dressing. For I sure. had to bless you, man, because people don't know, man. This man right here has been looking out for me. And it's hard. He's been looking out for me, man, from the Tory Lanez to the big boy. So I had to bless him and get a correct. And I got more merch for you, man. It's man. all love on this hey, side. Man, you dig it? We gonna put this on right before we hit the stage. You feel oh, me? Oh man, that'd be a blessing. Nah, man. nah. Definitely for sure, you bless would. me. We gotta, you know what I'm saying? We gotta. Put it on and make it right. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. <laughs> right on, right on. Now, before we go, uh, let the people know where they can follow you on social media and where they can listen to all your music at. Uh, everything is Elijah Banks. That's E-L-I-J-A-H-B-A-N-X. No K-S. Uh, everything. I'm talking about Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, PS4, you feel me, PSN. All oh, you want shit. a game? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All, that, all that shit. <laughs> like Nintendo Switch. Everything is consistent. So y'all just type that in on Google and you get your music, you get your social media fixed, whatever you need. Hey, whatever you need, whatever you need. Like I said, Elijah Banks, Banks? Dash Radio, not Rated Radio. Man, my dog, it's been a pleasure and I can't wait to have you back on again so you can oh, yeah. tell us more what you got going on. Oh yeah, we're going to run it back. We're going to run it back for sure. All right. And until next time, y'all, y'all stay cool, man. We out.